Hey there, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life channel. Today I have a little bit of a story time kind of a channel. When you channel the afterlife, you can do it in so many different ways. And one of the ways is through writing. Now sometimes, as you well know if you watch any of my vlogs or anything like that, you know that in the evening at my house it's crazy crazy chaotic. I have four kids. I have four dogs. Everybody's coming and going, dealing with stuff for school. My kids range in age from elementary to high school. It's busy here. It's busy. You can relate, I'm sure, right? And so one of the ways that I can capture information when a channeling comes in, like I get all of a sudden I get like this, oh, I got a channel. Sometimes I just have to do it and it's not opportune to record something. So, so I get out my handy dandy notebook. <laughs> sometimes it's a journal, sometimes it's a composition book. Like I have my composition book here. Here I got my composition book. I mean, I have all sorts of stuff that I can write where I can write. And so one night I, back in November, November 25th actually, I had a channeling conversation with Freddie Mercury in the afterlife. And so I am going to read that to you, that channeling. Now, interestingly, because right now I've been working on some content for Four Days with Freddie, which is part of the playlist for Freddie Mercury. You'll see those videos. And it's February right now when I'm recording this. And I remembered, hey, I need to share this that I wrote with you guys. So I'm going to share this with you. All right. So it is a channel, yes indeed, just in a different way. All right, here we go, ready? Are you ready, Freddie? Freddie Mercury in the afterlife. Channeled at 7.15 p.m. Central Standard Time on November 25th, 2018. Now I hope I can read my writing because when I'm channeling, I'm writing as fast as I can. Do what's fun. Do what you want to do, he said. So prior to this, I was obviously thinking about some things and trying to make some decisions or move ahead with some things, like for my business, probably. He says, do what's fun. Do what you want to do. Why do what it is you think others want? What's the point in that, he says. Ridiculous, really. It's madness. And then he says, who wants to live forever? That's one of the things he says to me. It's kind of a joke tagline. Who wants to live forever? Because I channel the afterlife, you know, dead people. He says, no one. No one wants to live forever. <laughs> and he says, oh, this is cool. So I wrote this because it was happening. So then I see this puff of smoke and his essence just kind of appears. And so this is when... I'm like, ugh. And my husband was sitting across from me. It was just after dinner. And I'm like, I have to, I need to channel Freddie. I'm, I'm doing this right now. He's just coming through. Puff of smoke and then his essence appears. Feel it. This is what I am. This is what I am here to teach you. If you want to learn it, study it. Feeling. He says, feeling. Convey it with feeling. It's more than sharing. He's talking about the channel and the channeling I'm doing. That's exactly what he's talking about. Because if you look back over Above Life Channel, you guys, you can see that I first started channeling Freddie Mercury right before the movie Bohemian Rhapsody came out. I mean, it was just something that was in the field collectively and people must have been thinking about it because it entered my consciousness. And... So I connected with him and I channeled him. It was not complicated. He said, it's, it's movement, an alive connection. He's talking about energy and feeling. So he's talking about clairsentience. To bring that into the, the videos, that's so much more important than the words and the channeling is what he's telling me. He says, okay, so I said, can you show me how energy works? He says, yes, I can. What do you want to know? And he said, I want to teach others to feel through this medium, this channel. Mm, and then I think about it and I write, mm, rather to give them, to provide them with the experience so that they can feel the energy connection. Okay. 
When we feel it, experience it ourselves, then we know. It's not about proving anything to ourselves or to anyone else. It's about showing up, <laughs> being here together. It's not singular. It's meant to be like a DNA strand. It's a pattern. And then he says a reverb. I'm going to read that again. When we feel it, experience it for ourselves, then we know. It's not about proving anything to ourselves or to anyone. It's about showing up, being here together, meaning the human life experience, creating it together. It's not singular. It's meant to be like a DNA strand. It's a pattern. And he says a reverb. And then he says, don't think. You're thinking too much. I'll show you. Try this. <laughs> like, okay. And then for a moment, my, like my, my writing gets really, really messy. I'm like, so in, all of a sudden my head is altered. Um, so he's showing me and all of a sudden I feel like this weird, I feel different, okay? He loves to perform. He wants to be talking all the time. This is what comes through. There's a false sense of integrity about who to share and how much. Make the music, make the music when it's hot, when they are calling for it. Don't stop, it's momentum. You love that wild universe law of freedom and expression. To move with, not to stop or block based on a false mind or ego. It is and beyond what you know. It consists all, it cannot all be known. Okay, so that's a lot. So after I felt altered, like in my head, he writes a couple of things, or I write a couple of things that he's sharing. And then he says, don't stop, because I was going to stop, because I was like, whoa, right? And then he says, don't stop, it's momentum. You love that wild universe law of freedom and expression, is what he says. To move with, not to stop or block, based on a false mind, ego. It is, and beyond what you know. It cannot all be known. It cannot all be known, you guys. That's a good message for both of us, right? Who, you who are watching and me who is listening to this as I'm restating it. As a human, the plain fact is you are limited. Freddie's words, you are limited. That's not popular. But it is a true fact. Reality sucks, Freddie says. That's why so many try to escape with drugs, music, sex, whatever, whatever to distract. Then he says, Bridget wants to ignore the truth of human limits. <laughs> the notion of fantasy, imagination, cannot read this as it's a B word for example displayed in a way to temper the need to escape the body hmm. most interested in and in and out of the body. Interesting, I don't know what this is. This is important, he says. <laughs> you guys, I didn't, re I didn't pre read this before I'm talking to you, I'm just reading it here active with you. This is important, he says. This division internal is self-made. You made it, you created it, not God. The soul comes into the body to merge with it, but it does work or it wears off. 
as we lose that innocence, that godness between like the ages of seven and eight. I talk about this before in my work. I've mentioned that kind of happens. You stop believing that you were whole and great. Consciousness expanded, he says. It's complete already. We do not incarnate to become something more than we are. We are. We are already. <laughs> so we do not incarnate to become something more than we are. We are already. But we may not know it. We may forget by the age of seven or eight. Remember, he's explaining energy to me, supposedly. And that's it. Okay, so, but it doesn't work. Um, it wears off, right? So, so I'm thinking about children and we lose that. Like children are so just open and trusting and just so close to God and we lose that. So, so the division is internal, it's self-made as you say. How do we sustain that or how do we not lose that? Because I'm thinking right around the age of seven is usually it feels like, he says about, he said they're about seven, eight, depending. You know. It's a natural part that we lose that, right? Or, or is there a choice that we make to lose it? Is that part of the human process? What I don't, I don't understand this part. I don't understand why we... Why we cram our, our spirit into this little tiny one part of our body and it's not as important or dominant or prominent as our human life experience as much as like my hands are my legs are i can run i can walk i can you know do all sorts of things yoga and dance and everything with my body and with my soul it, it seems like there's only this much i can do with it and that i know that that's a misunderstanding that i don't understand that with my brain but talk to me about how How do we successfully uh, live as a whole? Oh, live as a whole isn't the right way to say it. We lose that. Why do we lose that? How do we lose that? He's smoking. I can see him with this. <laughs> he says, uh, you stop believing. that you are you stop believing that you are that I, that I are what I can't get the right I, he's like Bridget you just can't get the word because it's not easily transferable translatable you stop believing that you are what a part of God he's like no that's not that's not right that's not right that's not right because it's not a part of you're not you're not one piece of a whole you are a whole and you're a piece we're so I'm both yes exactly he says yes exactly so I am both a piece and the whole and because I'm a piece and a whole therefore I am a human and a spirit and a soul right but the soul part is so it's so important. There's so many people that want to know their spirit and their soul. And yet we just keep it locked away, you know, and only bring it out on special occasions. It's like dress shoes that you only wear to church or whatever. So we stop believing that we are whole. I'm going to write this whole and apart. And he says it's consciousness. Expanding, expanded. It's already done. It's complete. He says it's complete. As a spirit, our consciousness is expanded. It's complete already. We do not incarnate to become something more than we are. We are already. But we may not know it. We may forget by age seven or eight. He just started just talking to me, didn't he? He just started talking. That's what I got. 
Wow. Okay, so that's deep, and I'm sure it was probably tricky to follow a bit. So what I'd like to recommend that you do now is go listen back to this. This was a channeling that I did and notes that I made in a channeling that I was doing with Freddie Mercury, and I used writing to do it. It's hard when you use writing. Sometimes it, the energy and you get, I can't even read half my words. It's tricky to read, as you can tell. But you can do this for yourself. So you can go back and listen and then take the key pieces of the message that are important to you, that are relevant to you, because there has to be something in here that's specifically for you. That's why you're watching the video. That's why it's live right now and evergreen for you to be able to tap into, to feel, experience, and understand for yourself, to download. This is from Freddie Mercury from the afterlife. So his perspective is this highly evolved energy and spirit, like a spirit guide perhaps, or simply a, a knowledge base or a resource for you. So I know that I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go listen back to this and take it in as a viewer would and feel into the resonance of what energy is and the energy parts of the message. All right. I may share this as kind of a vlog. It might be easier to do that. We'll see. So this is Bridget at Above Life Channel. It's a little bit different than normal. I'm sharing with you a channel, but it's not a live channeling experience. It is reading the information that came through in a channeling a spontaneous channeling that I captured in writing. As always, thank you so much for watching and for being here, for being part of this experience. I hope that I've inspired your spirit today with the help of Freddie Mercury in the afterlife, filled you up with some hope, because remember, this is your life. Right now, this is your life. So live it. Just live it. Thanks for watching.